Alongside the mummified body, the Egyptians carefully preserved internal organs, believing they were essential for existence in the afterlife. These organs were stored in canopic jars, four intricately designed containers used to hold the embalmed stomach, intestines, lungs, and liver. Each of the four canopic jars was dedicated to a specific organ and protected by one of the four sons of Horus. The Imseti jar with a human-shaped lid held the liver and was under the protection of the goddess Isis. The liver was important because it was believed to filter impurities from the body. The happy jar, which had a baboon-shaped lid, contained the lungs and was guarded by the goddess Nephthys. The lungs were preserved to maintain the breath of life in the afterlife. The Duamutef jar, topped with a jackal-shaped lid, stored the stomach and was under the protection of the goddess Neith. The stomach was crucial for digestion and sustenance in the next world. The Kebesinuef jar, with a falcon-shaped lid, held the intestines and was watched over by the goddess Serket, ensuring the organ's preservation for the afterlife. To keep these jars safe, they were housed in a canopic chest, a decorated wooden or stone container placed near the sarcophagus. This chest symbolized the unity of the body and spirit, reinforcing the idea that the deceased remained whole even in death. Some chests were elaborately painted with divine imagery and protective spells, ensuring the organs remained preserved and the spirit undisturbed.